Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, today on Man Cave Tools, we are actually going to box and take a look at the Milwaukee hard hat. Now, this hard hat is awesome, and I, they finally got it by me. This is my first time actually seeing it in, in the store in person. And so it took a while, but my area actually finally got it. I was able to order this online, but I wanted to get this actually from the store itself. Certain things, I wait till I actually get it in the store. So let's actually unbox this to see how this actually is. Let's do a couple of tests on see how durable this actually is. Where I'm not going to do too extreme stuff, but yeah, I love the Milwaukee hard hats because this has a ton of accessories for it. I did search the entire store to see if they have any more accessories, but they did not. This is what they had just for the hard hat, was the hard hat itself. Now this is a $60 to $4 value because this does come with the LED dual light on the front. So let's unbox this and check this out. All right, for the model number of this hard hat is 2104HH, full brim vented hard hat with spot flood headlamp. This is a Type 1 Class C hard hat. It has six quick access accessory slots. Like I said, what's included is the Milwaukee Spot Flood Headlamp, that is 2104. And the specs for the lamp, it has a hybrid spot flood lamp, which that's 450 lumens. The flood high is 350 lumens. Flood medium, 150 lumens. Flood low, 25 lumens and the spot is 350 lumens and so it is ip65 ip54 rated impact resistant chemical resistant and limited lifetime warranty so let's unbox this and uh, check this out after that the box is empty look at that 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 is a nice hat this really is a nice hat. I like that. Alrighty, so let's take that out so that just hangs there. Let's connect this back. All right, so let's install the suspension and let's, uh, and yeah, there are two ways you could have this. You could have this, all I gotta do is twist it like that. Then you could put it into the next slot. If you need it, if you need it at a certain height, then there you go. Now that's locked into place. So that depends on the size of your melon. But I have a pretty big head, so let's leave it like that. There we go. Yeah, it's easier to hold the strap down so that doesn't get caught in there. It's in like that. Then there we go. Make sure that this is good too. And that is good. Loosen that up. All right, let's check this out. And there you go. Now, one thing I did, uh, one thing I do love to wear in the winter are these. I got this as well. This is the work skin. I love wearing these just because it actually keeps my head warm. And I love the style, especially during winter when it's like negative 10 degrees outside. Let's see how this is with the work skin. There we go. See, not bad. It's actually staying on the head pretty well. Not too shabby. But that's actually pretty good, especially with, uh, with, with the skin on, because that creates even more of a slide. But yeah, it's not bad. That stays on your head very well. I like it. Here is your power button. Now, let's, first let's take this off. This has to be an easy way to take this off. The bigger one has one setting. The, the smaller one has three settings, you know, high, high, medium, low. And yeah, so there you go. Then to put this back on, it slides in place. That, that stayed on pretty good as well. All right, unfortunately, when it comes to this light, it is not charged by USB. It is actually three AAA batteries, which that sucks. All right, so there's just a strap for the light. You take that out just like so. And there you go. All right, and to get to get this on the headband, all you do is this. Oh, 
And the same thing on this side. There you go. Then it is adjusted to where you need it. And there you go. It is now, it is now secure onto the strap. And I just want to show you guys really quick, just in case if you did take the strap all the way out, I want to show you how to put it back together. Or you just take this, have the Velcro facing outward, put this through this, just like that, and put it through the slot again, just like that. So it looks like that. Velcro is right here. Then you take this and you put it through there. Then you put it through the other end. Then you put it through there. And then there you go. And there you go. Now, just to show you, is what you could do is take this out. All right, we're, we're back to this stage to where you just have that there. Put this in here. Put it down like that. Then you put it through there. So as you can see now that that's good to go. Now put this through th that slot and the, the slot for the light. Then wrap it around again. And then there you go. Got it. Done. Alrighty, let's see what this can do. All right, so the, that's not bad. Just the light came off. I'm pretty sure that Milwaukee did worse. It's just getting uh, some scratches on the top. Not sure if you can see that. Like right here, it's actually rubbing off. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad at all. You know, just so you guys know how hard I'm hitting, I'm hitting like that. If it breaks, it breaks, but it seems to be holding up pretty good because I actually was expecting like the brim to start to weaken and crack itself, but it, it's actually holding up pretty well. Let's drop it, toss it on concrete. Not too shabby, you guys. Not too shabby. As you can see it's no longer looks brand new. Everything seems to be holding up pretty good. Alrighty guys, so I just wanted to explore this hard hat since it was in my area. This is my first time actually seeing it in person because I could, like I said, I could order this online, but I, just, I wanted to wait till it was in store and I wanted to see what it looked like in the box on display. And so yeah, they finally had it by me, which every area gets different tools at different times. I'll give an example, my area gets Makita tools very early. And so yeah, so other areas get Milwaukee, other areas get Ryobi, it all depends where you live. but. This just arrived in my area and I'm excited, so that's why I got it. So it's, it is a nice LED light for your to see your workspace. And so yeah, this is it's actually a very comfortable helmet and it's pretty durable. 
I, it no longer looks brand new, but it's a hard hat, so I don't really care. All right, so we are gonna explore the accessories of this in the future, because I wanna completely customize this. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to, to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.